Okay, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully this video is going to help you. It's all about creating projectors and it's actually really easy. So I'm going to talk a little bit about it and yeah, hopefully you get something out of it. Just remember I've got a Patreon. I know I always bring it up in the video, but it supports me in the channel. And if you want, check it out. Link is in the description, but let's jump into it. So first thing you're going to do is I'm going to show you to create a projector. It's actually easy and then I'm just going to give you some tips. So shift A, mesh, plane, scale it up. This is what we're going to project on, but you can project on anything. So now what you want to do is go shift A, look for a light, the area light, go to X, hit G, bring it up somewhere like that. Then S, scale it up a bit. And then what you want to do is go here to properties and change the spread to zero. So if I go here, it's like this. Okay, and the reason why is you want the projector to be square. Okay, we don't want it to be like this. So we don't want it to be spread. We want it to be like that. Okay, now what you want to do is go to shading. So boom, let's go here. And now hit use nodes with your area light selected. Okay, boom. Then what you want to do is hit click on the mission and hit control T and this should come up. If it doesn't go to edit preferences and just type in node. Okay. Make sure that's in enabled. Just check it. Save preferences. Boom. Okay. And now what you want to do is click open and bring in an image. So I'm going to bring in this one. And you can see, there we go. Now, when you create or you download an image, make sure that it is a square image. So if I go here, you can see I downloaded this one and I created these two. Okay, it's square and the background is black. That's kind of what you want. Makes your life easier. But yeah, that's just a quick tip. Make sure that you save it as one by one if you create it yourself. Or if you download it, make sure that it is a square image just gonna help you out a lot. Now what you want to do is change UV and plug in the object and then select your area light. Okay, you can leave it at UV or you can change it to object. So what I do is I'll normally leave it as the UV so it projects it like that. And now what I do is you can bring the strength up and then it makes the world dark. Click here. And you can see if I do this, go back to layout. And if you go R, see it rotates and projects the image. And what's cool is if I bring it like this, let's go here and go Shift A, Mesh, Cube, S, scale it down, G, bring it somewhere like that, and then go here. And you can see it projects it on the object. See, if I move it around and you can scale it to so S, make it bigger. And then you can always add in like fog. So that looks pretty cool. What you can do is go shift A, mesh, cube, S, scale this one up. And you can see it adds a little bit of fog. Then what you can do is go to shading, cube selected, hit new, click this, delete, and go shift A, type in volume, and add a principal volume. Plug the volume into the volume, bring it to about 0 0.1. Go to layout. You can see it just adds a bit of volume like this. So if I tied this, you can see it projecting like that. Then you just bring the strength up. So I've got yeah, shading. Click on area light. So it's in. And you can see, then you see it a bit more. And there we go. Now if I move it, so R, you can see. And it's really that easy. And then you'll see it'll be hidden. But you can see the rays. And it looks pretty cool from a projector. And you can create some awesome stuff with it. So 
if you want a video on how to create these kind of things to project using to project with let me know they're actually easy i'll help you create them maybe next video i'll do it so hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace also what i'll do is i'll upload this to the patreon so you can download it if you're a member peace